Hi everyone, this is a, a response to a tag from Eddie, the Scots Wild Camper. He tagged me last night and asked me to do a video on three of my favourite things for, for going wild camping. And initially I thought, well that'll be easy. And then I thought, actually maybe not. It's To me it's, favourite things is one thing, but uh, it, what's essential for wild camping is another. But uh, what I've done is, I hope you don't mind, I've grouped together certain items as three separate Type of items um, to do with uh, you know what I wear, what I eat with, and what I carry it in. Uh, because I've got lots of favourites that really, to be quite honest, uh, I can't do without. Um, but however, uh, I'll start off with what I think is essential, and what I think is essential and a favourite of mine is my my very light regatta rain jacket. It's just a very light material, breathable uh, jacket. It's not got any sort of uh, fleece in, inside it or whatever else. It's just just a piece of material that uh, really uh, does the job of keeping you dry. Essential because it's light as well, because what I've found through experience is if I buy a heavy jacket that's waterproof with a, 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 a fleece that's in, in, inside it and whatever else, if you're walking a number of miles with a heavy pack on, you start to sweat. And uh, especially in the winter time, you think, get yourself wrapped up. But it, very quickly, you become very hot and start to sweat. And it's when you start to slow down or rest or take a break, you cool down very quickly. The sweat really does start to become very cold and the cold starts to penetrate you, which could be a bad thing. So in my experience, uh, instead of taking thick, heavy jackets, I take very light jackets wear enough clothes to keep the, the, the frost or the, the chill off uh, and uh, get by with just that and it, it seems to work for me that way so I don't get too hot especially when I'm walking. Uh, the other thing I would like to say on this first subject of waterproof is boots as well, some good footwear, waterproof trousers and whatever else. Um, I've got a pair of winter boots here, I call them my winter boots, so the Italian uh, leather, heavy boots but thick leather. The frost never penetrates these things, and I keep them well maintained. Well, they need a bit more maintenance actually, but uh, these are uh, Ibex boots, Italian made, and I got these in the charity shop for ten pounds. Uh, I got home and checked on the internet to see what they were brand new, and these boots have been hardly used. These are these were selling over one hundred and fifty pounds, so I got a great bargain there. Other waterproofs as well are my lighter high tech ones. Again, at the charity shop for ten pounds. Uh, great trade in them, whatever else, uh, and these are boots I'd wear in the summer or climate when it's, when it's a bit uh, more climate. Um, so I would say my favourite items are my waterproof. Basically, that's one of my favourite items is what I wear is waterproof. My second uh, favourite item is my my Trangia, my Trangia stove. Now I use this still with methylated spirits. Uh, I know you can get adapters for gas and whatever else, but I've got used to the mess. I know it's, it could be dangerous uh, when you're in your tent and there's a wind blowing and, or you accidentally knock it over and there you go, by the way, you've got an inferno in your tent. But it's just a matter of being sensible and careful. And I'm a clumsy clot at the best of times. But as yet, I've not set myself or the tent on fire. And that, I have to say, is one of my most favourite bits of kit, is my Trangia. It's never let me down. And it's so robust. I mean, it's taken a few bashes, but by goodness, for all the years I've had it, it, it works a treat. And that, that's my, my second favourite thing. Along with that is the various tools you need for uh, when you're eating, you have to go somewhere else after it. And that's for burying various things. Obviously a torch and whatever else. And I keep all these things together. Uh, and a good knife, this is my old bowie knife I keep. Uh, it's got a great old blade in it. A bit rusty now. I left it in my fishing tackle box wet one day came back and it had uh, changed colour, slightly uh, slightly red, or red ochre, and, uh, but the blade's still fine, I've sanded it down, so I've kept that for a long number of years, it's one of my favourites, uh, and an all-purpose tool here as well with blades and various implements on it, so that's, along with my Trangia, I keep these together, uh, pack them together, uh, as well as I pack my, my wet gear or dry gear rather together as well. And my third favourite is my backpack, or backpacks rather. I've got two out just now. I've got a, a 30 litre berghouse here that uh, I just use for the weekends. 
uh, and if, I, if I'm driving, I usually pack the small, smaller black pack with uh, the Tranja and all the various stuff that I would bring along with that. For long weekends, long treks or hikes, I take the, the Gregory. Now this is an American uh, job here. This is a 90 litre thing. This is a huge thing. I remember once over packing, I was on a walk to, with my son up Tindrum. We went up to Cunanish and uh, we camped just in the slopes of Ben Louis. And uh, that thing almost killed me because I packed too many things in it. And uh, But however, saying that, it's a great thing for the winter time. It's one big sack with a few pockets here and there. Uh, but, you, you know, you can take various sleeping bags with you, you know, like a, if you've got a, a four season or a two, three season with some other, uh, an extra bag or whatever else, that bag will take it. The, you are tempted to fill it with other things. And as I say, I did that one day and paid the cost because it, it absolutely knackered me up uh, with the weight. But if you can fill that with light stuff, like clothes, uh, sleeping bags, and your tent and whatever else, uh, these these bags are ideal for that in that size. Again, I got that for £10 at a charity shop. Couldn't believe it. Went home, checked on the internet, see how much they're new. Over £200, possibly £250 for one of these bags. £10. Not bad at that. Uh, so that's my three favourite things. Um, I have other things that are favourites, like my tent. I don't know why I say it's the favourite, but I'll tell you, this tent is... This tent goes up in minutes. It's a single hoop uh, Saunders tent, space packer. This thing's a great thing. Great shelter uh, in a hurry if you need it. Um, tarpaulins with me as well. These are always handy. Ask the Rhineland redneck and he'll tell you about his tarpaulins. That guy's very inventive. Uh, so Eddie, uh, that's my response. Uh, I've got various other favourite things. But I have to say, these are my three favourite things that I take on with me. There is another one. I'm going to have to say, if I was allowed to take four favourite things, it would be my malt whiskey. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I always have a, a nice malt with me. This isn't a Jura, this is a Glenlivet that was given to me as a present. Um, it vacated the premises a long time ago, but I've kept the box, because uh, it's, it's a very nice box. But I normally take a, a half bottle of uh, Jura, 10-year single malt with me, uh, and that's a nice wee nightcap. Uh, at the end of the night and uh, I fairly enjoy that it uh, certainly uh, helps the stars in your eyes go by at night just before you go to sleep <coughs> so yeah that is an essential item I have to say as well as a, a pleasure uh, the single malt I was going to mention my, my gas lantern um, it's only a favourite thing in the winter time because it's basic uses basically to light and give you light however that is a wee life saver. Uh, it can also be a killer because of the carbon monoxide. You have to be very careful with that. But that thing there can produce a great amount of heat in a small area in your tent. And if you've been, if you're wet, if you're freezing cold, I mean, if you're really struggling, getting that alight and inside a shelter uh, will soon heat you up and heat the whole area around about you pretty well. On very cold sub-zero nights that I've been out, that thing has been great. Uh, I remember one night with my son and even a friend of mine, uh, Russell, uh, we used that. And you could see, you know, in the top part of the tent where, you know, it, it was dry, but there was a bit of condensation. But as as you look down the side of the tent, the frost just gathered and gathered and tilicycles were hanging off the inside of the tent at the very bottom. And you can imagine that if you're struggling, if you're wet, if, if you're freezing cold, something's happened, having one of these is actually essential. But never fall asleep with one of these on. I fell asleep one night, uh, I was out with my daughter camping and uh, I woke up in the morning with what I thought was an absolute stinker of a hangover, but in actual fact I'd hardly had anything to drink to be quite honest and I couldn't understand why I had this throbbing head that lasted all day. I found that later on it was carbon, mono uh, carbon monoxide poisoning, so be careful with these. You can buy smaller versions of these and I'm going to get a smaller version at some point because they're great for taking away, especially in the winter time. But that thing, not so much has saved my life, it's put my life at risk actually, but uh, that could be a wee lifesaver in an emergency situation. So anyway guys, that's it. Uh, three favourite things, my backpacks, uh, my boots and waterproof, and my transia and associated tools, and that's it. Thanks Andy for tagging me. Uh, good luck in your trips and your, your videos as well, great stuff, I love watching your, your videos and everybody else who's subscribed to me. Uh, thanks very much for watching and good luck with your uh, 
your season to come actually. Uh, let's hope it'll be a drier season this year. Uh, let's hope the midges are uh, less this year because last year was an absolute, it was murder last year. Uh, I've never seen it so bad as it was last year. So good luck everybody and uh, all the best. Thanks for watching the video. Eddie, cheers. We'll maybe meet up sometime by the way. Cheers.